Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm very pleased to present you today the detailed implementation plan, which is the working plan for the motorways of the sea. The DIP sets the priorities for the future policy for maritime activities inside the trans European transport networks, the so-called TNT. Thank you all for supporting me in this very intense process. Thank you to the Member States, thank you to the European Maritime Association, thank you very much to the Port Authority, the Shipping Lines and every supporters of this process which bring a lot of statements, a lot of aspects into this very helpful process for creating this new DIP. Thank you for your strong support inside this process, but also for all the activities which you try to do to give a very strong role to short sea shipping, which helps to create new lines and to shift transport from road to the sustainable way of motorways of the sea. I'm very happy that we have a large network of 335 maritime ports in the EU, which helps for this new dimension of maritime activities in the transport chain. The European maritime sector forms an important part of the trans-European inside transport flows. And what we try to do is to facilitate and redistribute this transport and trade flows to and from land-based networks, which include also that we better connect the corridors with the ports, with the maritime space, with the activities in short sea shipping and between the ports. And on the other hand, we want to connect the mainland of Europe with the peripheral regions and the islands. Specifically, short sea shipping represents 65% of total cargoes of the ports. So, Motorways of the Sea sets a very interesting instrument to have a sustainable transport system in Europe. So, Motorways of the Sea is a key instrument. It serves as a functional maritime junction between the major nodes of the core and comprehensive network. Besides, Motorways of the sea plays a key role in the decarbonization of the European economy. It provides a strong environmental benefits through innovation, digitalization and road decongestions. Europe has a great chance to become a leading example with regard to a more sustainable shipping and port sector. MOS can certainly help in this respect. My vision of the motorways of the sea is that it becomes the cornerstone of creation of a truly sustainable, smart and seamless maritime European space. A space that encompasses all maritime infrastructure elements of the Tenti. A space that is well integrated with an entire transport logistic chain. The upcoming revision of the Tenti regulation will be a great opportunity to strengthen such maritime dimension of the TNT. The DIP, my work plan for MOS, clearly addresses the challenges of the maritime sector today. These are more importantly the greening of the maritime sector as well as the digitalization of ports and shipping. With the MOS funding program under Connected Europe Facility, we also support those goals in the past. Indeed, the SEP1 co-founded 50 MOS projects with 435 million euro. More than half of it addressed the greening of the maritime sector. Nearly 1.5 billion went to ports and the maritime issues as all. Well. My DIP takes into account the current challenges and emerging trends of the sector as well as the legislative drivers. Three thematic pillars will focus the development of sustainable, seamless and smart European maritime space. The first pillar for a sustainable European maritime space addresses the objectives of fighting climate change and improving air and water quality. Under this pillar, I strongly advocate all 
kind of investment in decarbonization, for example, looking into all types of promising alternative fuel, and particular non-fossil fuels, onshore power supply, innovation of propulsion systems, and as well the use of eco-incentives. The second pillar underlines the need to ensure seamless maritime transport. We have to improve multimodal connectivity in terms of better connections with the corridors and better links with outermost regions, islands and neighboring countries. Under the third pillar, I recommend pushing for a smart URI team maritime space through the improved adoption of digital tools throughout the industry, such as digitalization of trade lines, interoperating data share and the sea traffic management. With these three pillars, I'm very confident to adequately address the challenges of the future. The present work plan has been prepared prior to the COVID-19 crisis. It is evident that the current pandemic has severe impacts to the transport sector. The short-term consequences we are currently facing are already known, but the medium and the long-term expected consequences we will see throughout the process. The MOS working place, as it stands today, will see a further revision by the end of 2021. This is in line with the expected revision of the TENTI guidelines. I may adapt the priorities of my work plan wherever needed with regard to the effects and impacts of COVID-19 crisis in the maritime sector. The process does therefore not conclude with the publication of the DIP. Instead, I see it as a launch of an interesting path that I would like to go with you all. Only together we can create the conditions of a sustainable, smart and seamless European maritime space and a strong dimension of the TEMT. Without a well-functioning motorways of the sea network, we cannot achieve an integrated, fully-fledged and effective TEMT system. Our challenge will to be turn this ambition into reality. In this, I count of your engagement and I thank you very much for this continuous effort we made together.